All right, guys. Now for the um, for the uh, plan view. Okay, so we're um, we're actually working right up here. Click on our plan view, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to temporarily turn my walls back on. So I'm going to temporarily turn architecture architectural back on. And the reason I do that is so I can see in the center here where the uh, where the sill plate runs. And I'm going to turn on my thin line so I can see a little better. And I'm going to place a uh, filled region. And in the space where my sill plates are going to be, I need to place these dots. These dots will represent my anchor bolts. Okay, and I need to place these every six feet it doesn't have to be exactly six feet but right there within a few inches of six feet uh, i'm going to choose a circle tool draw me a circle about a half inch in diameter um, and also it's already selected for solid black oops i didn't want to draw one there and then i'm just going to hit the green check mark and then there's my black dot i'm going to take that black dot i'm going to copy uh, make sure multiple is checked and then click on it again for a reference point and I'm going to drag it approximately every six feet okay so I've got one here six five that's good okay draw one six three that's good okay oops don't want to go quite that far six one so I'm going to do that all the way around the perimeter of my foundation not on your your patio slabs or anything like that just in the walls once you get done with that okay then you go back and you turn off or turn off architectural and just set it for structural okay and I just noticed that when you do that it hides that um, section that we drew earlier the section is still there it's just not in the view I hate it when it does that but if it does that, just kind of, you know, go with it. Okay. And just make sure when you're in your level one plan that you're not deleting that section. Okay. That is a permanent section. You want to keep it there. If you need to know, let's see, will it tell you overhang uh, when you uh, hover over it? No, it won't. But that's just one of the things you'll have to remember it not to delete that section. Okay, so going back to Foundation Plan 2. Okay, so you can see my uh, anchor bolts going all the way around. And I'll annotate that uh, real simple. There's not a lot of annotating to do here in this view. Um, of course, make sure your caps lock is not on. And we've got anchor bolt. Okay. Okay. And next thing we're going to do is dimension all the way around it. So I'm going to choose my uh, dimension tool. And I'm just going to use the align dimension, which is this one right here. It's the one I typically use. And just start dimensioning to your extents. Let's see. I probably should put this in here. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to put, um, you know, one for all of the, you know, like the major wall breaks, and then I'm going to put an overall. And, uh, of course, it'll kind of snap uh, to wherever it is appropriate, where it feels, where Revit feels like it's appropriate. I don't know what the distance is preset at, but just kind of pull it out till it snaps, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to dimension the brakes on this side. And pull it out about equidistance and I'm going to eyeball it. Okay, and then I am, yeah, I'm going to do an overall on this side. Okay. Next is I am going to do this side and I need to do I probably didn't need to do the uh, 
break on the patio, but hey, I did it anyway. And then I don't need to do an overall because I've already got an overall out here. Okay, so that should give me all the information I need. I do need to do a one with brakes on it in the back. Like so. Now it is all properly dimensioned. Now you'll want to change your scale because when you place it on your sheets, it's going to need to be probably in a quarter inch scale. Um, so we'll go down here to quarter inch one. Now, as you notice, you can't see the dimensions very well anymore. Um, it might look good once you put it on the sheet, but I actually go ahead and, and make mine a little larger. And I do that strictly by going over here, clicking Edit Type, Duplicate, and you kind of have to play around with it to figure out what's going to be a good size lettering. And I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do one quarter inch lettering. Click OK. Scroll down to get to your text size. Change that to one quarter inch. Click OK. OK, looks good. So now all I got to do is select the others and change those to that new size that I just made. Okay, now we can see the numbers a little better. All right, so that is it for detailing the um, foundation plan view. So uh, have fun with that. Make sure that gets put on your project. Okay, and uh, everything will be good. Hunky-dory.